Welcome back. In this video, we're going to discuss the basic organizing unit for Trello, and that is a card. Now, we are now inside of a Trello board, and what you'll notice is that there are lists inside of a board, and inside of those lists are actual cards. So in order to create a card, you will have to have a list within a board. So one of the things we're going to do now is to create a list and we're going to create an organizing principle for that list. Once you have your organizing principle for your list, you're then going to click save. Now that's actually going to give you the opportunity then to create a card. Now you are then going to click the add a card button. Now inside of the cards, you're actually going to place the content that you're looking to organize. So in this particular case, if you're looking to organize one tip at a time, you're going to write in the tip and any other reference information. And once you've written in the content that you want to organize, you're then going to click add. What you'll see then is that Trello will then open up the next card for you to begin right again again. Now the other way to add a card within this list is to use this menu. And what we can do is we can click add a card. Now what we're going to do right now is we're just going to X out of the second card. And now we have our first card that we're going to begin to work with. Now one of the things we want to do is to look on the inside of the card so that we can begin organizing. And what you'll notice is that we can create a lot more detail for this particular card. We can also allow for comment if we're going to collaborate with someone on this particular card. So in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to add in some content here. Now, it's quite possible you may want to give the text some special emphasis. And there is formatting specific to Trello that you can find where this link says formatting help. And Trello has specific formatting that you can use in order to make some of your text stand out and other text normal for the sake of emphasis. What we're going to do now is we're going to save this activity. And we're going to close out and turn the card around. And what you'll notice is that the card still appears with our comment. But if the individual wants to click on this card, they'll be able to see the back side and then they'll be able to see the additional information that we have placed there. And one important aspect to card organization is actually to use the due date function. And you'll notice that the fourth level down, we can actually apply a due date to any card that we have in our list. So in this particular case, if we were to outline a task, what we could do is we could actually place a due date or a date associated with this particular comment. And we can actually outline a date in the future. And then we can then click save. And what will happen then is we'll then get a reminder in Trello that this particular note, there is some action due on it. Now, obviously, there's a considerable amount more that we can do with this basic organizing principle inside of Trello, and we will explore those in additional videos. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.